Good morning children welcome to our math session now children as you know we are continuing with our chapter number 12 multiplication in our previous session we finish our part 9 okay today we will be doing let us see which part today we will be doing mental maths 12 okay so let us start with our first question question number 1 what is 5 times 8 Okay, I repeat the question. What is five times eight? Now, children, when it is asked, what is five times eight? What you are going to do is you are going to multiply eight multiply by five. Okay, that means you are going to take eight five times. Okay, eight one two three four and five. Okay. So now let us see. We'll say the table of eight and let us see what answer we are going to get. Eight ones are eight. Eight twos are sixteen. Eight threes are twenty-four. Eight fours are thirty-two, and eight fives are is forty. Okay. What is five times eight? Forty. Now we will add. Eight five times and let us see what answer we are getting. Eight plus eight sixteen. Sixteen plus eight twenty four. Twenty four plus eight thirty two. Thirty two plus eight forty. So that means if I multiply eight into five, I get my answer forty. If I add eight times, okay, five times eight, then also. I will get forty. That means if we add eight times eight, five times eight, I get my answer forty. So what is my answer? Five times is is forty. That means we will take eight five times. Okay. Next question number two. Any number, any number multiplied by zero gives us. Any number multiplied by zero gives us what, children? I taught you this before also. What any number if we multiply by zero, what we will get? Now suppose my number is zero fourza. So zero fourza will be zero. And if I multiply four zeroza, four zeroza also zero. So if any number we multiply by zero, what answer we are getting? Zero only. So any number multiplied by zero will gives us zero. Okay. Next, how will you split ninety three to use it for lattice method? How will you uh, split ninety three to use it for lattice method? Children, in lattice method, how we used to split the number? We used to make the rows and column, and then in the rows and column we split and we write the number. In here, how what we are answer we are going to write? We have to split this number ninety three. So what we will write ninety plus three. How we we'll use split ninety three? Use it for lattice method. Ninety plus three. Okay, what is your answer? Ninety plus three will be ninety three. What is the product of fifty and six? What is the product of fifty and six? Now, children, when it is product, that means you need to multiply. So we are going to multiply fifty multiply by six. Now, children, this is not a any sum. It is a mental math. So mental math, you have to do your sums mentally, orally. I am showing you the working. How you can do the working and get your answer. Okay? For your understanding, I am solving this. So zero six zero will be zero and five six zero will be thirty five one zero five five two zero ten five three zero fifteen five four zero twenty five five zero twenty five and five six zero will be thirty. So when I multiply fifteen to six, I get my answer three hundred. So this three hundred which I get after multiplying fifty and six, that is my product. Okay. So what is my uh, product? That is three hundred. What is the product of fifty and six? It is Three hundred. Okay. Next question number five. What is four t multiplied by five t? Four t means children four tens. Okay. And five t means five tens. T stands for tens. So what is four t multiplied by five t? How you are going to? I mean, 
uh, you are not going to write for 40 that is for 40 you will not uh, write as 400 40 means 4 tens that is 40 into 5t means not 500 5 tens okay that is 50 so we are now we don't know table of 40 and 50 so what we will do we will multiply 4 by 5 first 4 ones are 4 4 twos are 8 4 threes are 12 4 fours are 16 4 fives are will get 20 okay now we have 1 0 left in 40 that we will write next to here 1 0 left in 50 so we will write it here so when we multiply 14 to 50 we get our answer 2000 so what is 14 to 50 2000 what is 14 to 50 2000 what is 9 times 5 what is 9 times 5 okay means 9 times we have to take 5 okay so let us take 9 times 5 okay wait just one second okay 9 times we will take 5 5 9 sir. that is 9 times 5 okay or we can do it we can take 9 times we will take here 5 okay wait 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 here we have taken uh, 9 times we have taken 5 ok so 5 plus 5 will be 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 and 45 so what is 9 times 5 if I take 5 9 times so what is my answer 45 what is 9 times 5 45 ok that means we have to take 5 at 9 times ok that is 9 5 za, ok 9 5 za is 45 9 1 za 9 9 2 za 18 9 3 za 27 9 4 za 36 and 9 5 za 45 so 9 times if I take 5 get my answer 45 if one bouquet cost rupees 55 what will be the cost of 4 such bouquets if one bouquet Okay, if one bouquet cost rupees 55, what will be the cost of four such bouquets? Now, if one bouquet price is 55, what will be the cost of four such bouquets? How we will get the cost? We need to multiply 55 into 4. Okay, so 5 4s are will be 25 ones are 5, 5 2s are 10, 5 3s are 15 and 5 4s are 20. So, for 20 I will write 2 here and I will carry over. Sorry, I will write 0 here and 2 I will carry over on 5. Okay, now 5 4s are again 22, that 20 will add the 2. So, 21, 22, 2. So, I get my answer 220. Okay, what is my answer? 55 into 4, 220. So, 1 bouquet cost rupees 55. So, cost of 4 bouquet will be 220. Let us move to the next question. Question number 8. What is the product of 7T and 3T? What is my question? What is the product of 70 that is 7 tens and 3 tens that is 30. Okay. Let us multiply. Now 7 tens will be 70 and 3 tens will be 30. Okay. Now we are going to multiply 7 threes are. 7 ones are 7, 7 twos are 14 and 7 threes are 21. Okay. So, this 21 now we will write here and then we have 1 0 in 70 and 1 0 in 30. So, when I multiply 70 into 30, I get my answer 2100. 0, 0, okay. So, what is the product of 70 and 3t? 2100, 0, 0, 2100. What is the product of 70 and 3t? 2100. Question number 9. If there are 23 children in one row, how many children are there in 7 rows? Now if there are 23 children in 1 row. Okay, in 1 row there are 23 children. 
So how many children are there in three rows? Let us calculate and see how it is. We will multiply 23 into 3, okay, to get the answer. Now, in one row there are 23 children, so we need to find children in three rows, okay. So wait, I will write here, so we will get this place to multiply, okay. okay. Three threes are will be 9 and two threes are will be 6. So, uh, what we get when we multiply 23 into 3? 69, okay. So, the answer is 69 children. That means if there are 23 children in one row, how many children will be there in three rows? 69 children. What is the product of 40 and 70? What is the product of 40 and 70? Now, when in the question it is given product, that means we need to multiply. So, what we are going to multiply? 40 multiply by 70. We need to get the answer. So, what we will do? We will multiply 4 7s are. Okay. So, 4 1s are 4. 4 2s are 16. 4 3s are 12. 4 4s are... Four, wait, wait, wait. 4 1s are 4. 4 2s are 8. 4 3s are 12. 4 4s are 16. 4 5s are 20. 4 6s are 24. 4 7s are 28. Okay. So, 28 we have 1 0 in 40 and 1 0 in 70. So, the product of 40 and 70 is how much children? 2800. 0. What is the product of 40 and 70? 2800. 0, 0. Next. What is the answer obtained by multiplying two numbers known as? I repeat, what is the answer obtained by multiplying two numbers known as? Now children, I have taught you this in addition also and subtraction also that the answer obtained by adding two number is known as sum. The answer obtained by subtraction, uh, subtracting two number is known as difference. The answer obtained by multiplying two number is known as product. What it is known as? Product. The answer obtained by multiplying two number known as product. Okay. What is 10 times 9. What is our question? What is 10 times 9? That means we need to take 10 times. We will take the number 9. Let us see. 9 tens are. So 9 tens are is. We can multiply like that also children. See 9 ones are will be 9. We have 1 0. So we will write this here. So 9 tens are will become 90. What is 10 times 9? 90. Okay. Now if I add, wait, if I add, okay, 9, 10 times, let us see what answer we get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So, 10 times we have taken 9. Now, let us add and see. 9 plus 9 will be 18. Okay. 18 plus 9 will be 27. 27 plus 9 will be 36. 36 plus 9 will be 45. 45 plus 9 will be 54. 54 plus 9 will be 63. 63 plus 9 will be 72. 72 plus 9 will be 81. 81 plus 9 will be 90. So, what is 10 times 9 children? 90. What is 10 times 9? 90. Understood? So, with this children, we finish our today's session of Mental Mass 12. Now children, this Mental Mass 12, you have to write it in your book because in FA, I might be asking you questions of Mental Maths. Okay? So, be prepared with all the Mental Maths, Mental Maths uh, 10. Mental Maths 11 and Mental Maths 12. Three Mental Maths we have finished. Okay. So, these three Mental Maths you have to be very thorough. Okay. I will be doing Mental Maths 13 also with you. Okay, children. So, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12. That is addition uh, Mental Maths. Then Mental Maths of subtraction. Now, Mental Maths of multiplication. These three Mental Maths children you are going to go thorough with it with all the questions. Okay. And children, this mental maths question has to be written in your maths notebook. Okay. Give the topic mental maths 12 and write all the questions from the starting till the end where we have finished question number 
12 from question number 1 to question number 12 should be there in your notebook okay children so for today's session bye take care see you soon